Hello, my name is Paul Friedman. I'm uh, with the League of Women Voters, and I'm here today to interview Kathy Bainbridge, the town clerk and finance director of the town of Clarkdale. The citizens of Clarkdale are going to see on their upcoming primary election ballot Proposition 434, a permanent base adjustment to the town of Clarkdale's um, financial planning. Uh, Kathy, would you tell us what is a permanent base adjustment and why is it needed? Okay. Well, in 1980, the Arizona State Constitution set expenditure limitations for every city and town in the state. Those limitations were based upon the 1978 expenditures of each community along with the population of those communities. Mm -hmm. Since then, every city and town have grown since 1978, and we still are under those same restraints with today's budgets and today's services that we provide. So one of the tools that the state has allowed is that municipalities, all cities and towns, can ask the voters to approve a permanent base adjustment that would change that base rate from the 1978 expenditure to an expenditure base that is more reasonable for today's needs and services. And that number then goes through the state's calculation based on population every year and inflation. So it's a number that's uh, increased every year instead of a flat number. So the uh, state of Arizona has regulations that put a lid on or a maximum on how much tax revenue the town of Clarkdale can collect uh, and you hope to raise that lid. Does this mean that taxes will go up? No, the permanent base adjustment in no way raises taxes or has anything to do with taxes. The main idea with the permanent base adjustment is that any revenues that are coming in, any revenues that we predict to come in, we are then able to set expenditures based on those revenues and then approved by the town council to spend them. If we don't have the permanent base adjustment, revenues that come in above what the state sets for us, the town is not allowed to spend those and they just sit in, they just sit in limbo until you're able to budget for them. So the main idea behind this is that it allows the town to spend the revenues that are coming in on necessary infrastructure and services that is needed for the residents. Well, has this uh, problem existed? Have uh, you received over the past years since that lid was in, put in place uh, revenues above the allotted amount that you weren't able to spend? or have you been able to uh, work with the monies that you actually have? One of the other tools that the state of Arizona allows besides permanent base adjustment is a home rule mm. adjustment that the voters, you can take to the voters every four years. And with that, you go through the Auditor General's office and you figure out what your budgets are going to be for the next four years based on predicted revenues and expenditures and the attorney general then authorizes you to put this on a ballot. You then, it goes to the voters and it gives you a four year spending window with set restrictions on your budget. The voters of Clarkdale have approved the home rule ever since 1980, every four years it has been on the ballot. And we currently are under home rule, so we then don't have to be restricted to the 1978 revenue alternative from the state. Mm -hmm. So you've had these home rule uh, initiatives on the ballot uh, every four years in the 25 years since or so since the lid was put on. And uh, you would like not to have to go through that trouble uh, in the next decade. Right. Uh, so this is a way to actually save Clarkdale money, uh, the money it, would co it costs to uh, put the home rule regulation in before the voters. 
Yes, every year, every four years when we're getting ready for the home rule, it takes a lot of administration time and it takes a lot of election, extra election costs to get the home rule on the ballot and to get the publicity pamphlet printed and approved again by the Auditor General and then translated into Spanish um, as we're required to do. So there's thousands of dollars that we spend every four years on the home rule election along with staff time. Hmm. So this new, new uh, proposal will allow the Clarkdale government to operate more efficiently and economically. Yes, we won't have to hold the election every four years. Mm -hmm. We've been working with the Auditor General uh, as required to do the permanent base adjustment. Uh, and then this will set our budget and our, our revenue restraints until we go above those, which we don't expect that to happen. Um, the $3 million that we've asked for the adjustment to our base should take us easily through the next decade of doing budgets. Um, and again, that $3 million that we've been asking for the base to be adjusted by, that will be changed every year by the state based on our new population and based on inflation. So that number then grows along with the town instead of just being a flat line budget. Mm. $3 million dollars, uh is a good sum, but it's uh, much less than the actual annual Clarkdale budget, which is, I believe, in the $20 million range area. Right. Uh, how, does, how, do, how does the $3 million base relate to the actual $20 million budget? Well, in, for an example, this year, we just adopted our 2016-17 budget, and that budget was a, a little over $17 million based on the revenues that we have coming in with grants and user fees. Um, and so the, th the $3 million is then what the base would be that the, the state calculates. Mm -hmm. So they'll take that as the initial number in their calculation, mm. and they'll put that through their calculations based on population and then pace based on inflation and then let us know mm. what our revenue expenditure limitation is based upon that, which uh. should be well above our 17 million that we had budgeted this year and again forecasted out for at least another 10 years, if not longer. Hmm. So the three million is part of a complex formula, but it's an important part of that formula and if, it, uh, if it's put in place, it will, uh, it, it will allow you to simply uh, spend the funds that you receive currently from your, at your current tax rate uh, and not affect uh, people's annual taxes. Let, let, me, let me get to the bottom line and ask you a couple of questions. If I vote no on Proposition 434, what does that mean for the town of Clarkdale? Currently, with the town of Clarkdale already on home rule, that expires in two years. So at the end of two years, then we would need to go through either another home rule election, we, would have, we could go through another permanent base adjustment election, and if either one of those fail, then we would have to comply with the state expenditure limitation. If we have to comply with that limitation, that's going to cut about 90% of the revenues that we are currently getting and being able to spend. So if we're not able to spend those revenues coming in, we have uh, water services, we have sewer services, we have a full-time police department, we have a public works department, and we have a lot of parks and trails in the town of Clarkdale and all of those budgets would be severely cut. And we would still be getting the revenues, but we would not be able to spend them. Mm -hmm. So uh, at the fork in the road that we're headed for uh, with the primary ballot, if I vote no, then I will force the town to have another home route rule uh, election in two years. And then if that is defeated, uh, the 
Tar Clarkdale town budget would be cut by 90 percent and many, many essential services would be abolished or right. drastically reduced. Yes. Well, if I come to this fork in the road at the end of August and I vote yes, what does that mean for me as a citizen or for the town of Clarkdale as a whole? What does a yes vote imply? A yes vote is going to let the state increase the base for the permanent base adjustment for our expenditure restraint and make the initial calculations that change every year. On the other side of that, it's letting the town council go through their budget process, which is a six month process from beginning to end, looking at all of the revenue that we expect to come in and base our expenditures for infrastructure needs and service needs and public service safety needs expenditures based on those revenues and that will allow them to adopt a budget for today's needs at the service level that the residents require so that with all the public hearings and public scrutiny and following all the laws of the state of Arizona it lets the town council set a budget that is in the best interest for the residents of our community based on the revenues that are coming in for that certain year. Well, so if I understand correctly, a yes vote will obviate the need for a, a home rule election in two years, and it will give the city council of, of Clarkdale uh, a certain predictability and uh, the, op the opportunity to make decisions that they know they can carry out. So the city council's planning and execution of its policies will be much more efficient and effective. Uh, will my tax bill go up? Will the city therefore spend a lot more money if uh, this uh, proposition passes at all? Is that, a, is that at all a consequence of this proposition? Mm -hmm. The proposition does not have anything to do with tax rates and mm -hmm. levy rates for the town of Clarkdale. Mm -hmm. It authorizes the town of Clarkdale to spend the revenues it already collects, and it doesn't empower the town council to make new revenues. It just allows us to spend the revenues that are already coming in and based on what the community needs. Mm -hmm. Well, thank you very much, uh, Ms. Bainbridge. Uh, there you have it. Uh, a, the upcoming permanent base adjustment, Proposition 434, on the uh, primary election ballot at the end of August, uh, it, uh, provides the opportunity for the town of Clarkdale to raise its permanent base of uh, financial base on, upon which it uh, creates its regular budget. Uh, all budget procedures will remain the same, all taxes will remain the same, uh, the, uh, but their functioning will be simplified and made more streamlined, and uh, that's the choice available to the public. So uh, I hope this has been informative to you uh, as you consider how you will vote in, on Proposition 434 on the upcoming ballot. and. Uh, uh, that's the benefit of a democracy to uh, hear the pros and cons, the uh, consequences of a yes vote, the consequences of a no vote, and for each of us to make the decision that makes the most sense to us. Thank you.